Hello everyone, Hustler here. So today we're going to be talking about the Red Dead Redemption 2 ending. And if you don't want anything to be spoiled, then obviously click off because I'm going to be talking about the ending. So first, we need to talk about the effects that the ending had on people. The ending made people cry. I've never seen so many grown men and women cry over a video game as much as Red Dead Redemption 2. I'm going to show you some examples. Okay, so first of all, uh, these are not my clips, obviously. Uh, I found all these clips from Gameology. Go check them out. Because these clips are not mine, and they deserve all the recognition for these. So, better go check them out. Now! Son of a bitch! Come on, break free! Hold on, I can't break free! Come on, come on. Come on, 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 come Okay, so what can we take from uh, the ending of uh, Red Dead Redemption 2? It made people cry a lot. It even got me to cry. Not even just cry, it, ball it made me bawl my eyes out. I remember when Arthur got shot in the face because I got the bad ending. I broke down. I was that distraught at a video game. Pixels dying. It was very sad to me. My brother was there to witness it all. So naturally, when a main character dies because of some villain or someone uh, else, take uh, the purple man from MCU. It was a very insignificant part of the MCU storyline. The guy with the space gems or something, I can't remember his name. But anyways, uh, naturally, people want to have revenge. <laughs> So yeah, people got the revenge, and everybody was happy, and Micah is the most hated character in all of gaming, I'm pretty sure. Last time I checked, he was the most hated character. For good reason, he killed Arthur. And yeah, that's the basic general sense of why Red Dead Redemption is so infamous, in my opinion.